Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome back to my clean and tidy workshop. That's right, first things first, I did some tidying. by the idea of having a great cleanup at the end of every project. A project's not done until we're cleaned up. Liam Hoffman's Egyptian Kopesh that we forged on uh, yesterday's episode and the episode before the episode before, you, you get the idea. I have also boxed that up. And so that is gonna be headed for its trip across the ocean to end up with Liam Hoffman. I can't wait to see what he makes from it. And today, what am I gonna do today? Well, now this was last year, so a lot of you might not remember. But last year, I made myself up a billet of United States flag Damascus steel and a billet of Union Jack flag Damascus steel. I often wonder why it is that I try and build suspense when the title has already alluded exactly to what it is that we're doing. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be making some flag belt buckles today. Thank you very much for joining me. It seems more and more common for me to start these episodes in the van saw, so. Yeah, we're in the trusty band saw. We indeed do need to cut a chunk off this British flag Damascus. But take note of this. I'm gonna be wanting to cut right about there, which means that I don't particularly have a huge amount of support in the vise. This is a problem I frequently encounter, especially with all the Damascus steel work that we do. So there are a couple of different ways I can fix this. The easiest way is just to weld it to a sacrificial bar, but I still don't have my, uh, my little welding nozzles, which I... I broke my welding nozzle yesterday. My bad! So instead what we can do is the following. We can lay our piece of steel here onto a piece of sacrificial angle iron. You see, I still can't grip it. We need another piece of steel to help. Now the bit of steel isn't all we need. I've also got some, uh, some of those things I use on my bridge port. I have no clue what they're called. Um, but that supports the left hand side of the vise. And then as I line it up with the blade, uh, you tend to need three hands. So give it one of these. There we go. When I'm cutting my Damascus, I'll make sure that I'm cutting it nice and slow on the blade speed. I'll also make sure that the feed rate on the saw is nice and slow. And this is the point where I worry and I pray that nine months ago when I made this billet of Damascus, I hadn't, uh, I, I, I hope I annealed it. If I didn't, then I'm about to break a blade. Um, sorry, Bailey. Right, so what do we have here? We have British flag Damascus, we have United States flag Damascus. You'll notice we have a lot less US flag Damascus than we have British flag Damascus. Sadly, this is all I have left of that United States billet. So we're gonna do some extra drawing out to get this large enough for this belt buckle. This one's gonna be able to stay a little chunkier.
using the Pilkington Power Hammer, I have forged both those pieces down. This here is the United States Damascus Steel belt buckle to be. It is going to go in the fire. And here, the Union Jack. This thing is beefy. Thankfully, loads of stuff I can grind off there. That Union Jack. <coughs> I didn't mention I'm sick. We'll make it through the day. That Union Jack belt buckle to be is now also in the fire and I'm gonna let it cool down really nice and slowly and of course you know why. Why is it Jamie? Uh, annealing. That's the one! Woo! So as Jamie said we're going to be annealing it and then in a second once it's nice and soft we'll see you again. Let's do some grinding! Okay, so as you can see, we're out of the grinding room, and what we're gonna now do is we're gonna go over to the ferric chloride, and we're gonna have an etch. Naturally, flags have orientations, and we wanna make sure that when these awesome belt buckles are there on the belt the right way around, so we're now gonna etch them. This is just a little quick etch, it's uh, nothing super serious, it's just so we can see the pattern enough to decide which side is which, which is the front, which is the back, which is the top, which is the bottom. Oh yeah. Okay, okay, this is the US flag piece, and I can see right here, that's our, uh, that's our patch of stars. This is the great British flag. It's difficult, there we go, I've caught it in the light here. And the wide white stripe, top left, that's the Union Jack, that needs to be in that orientation. This needs to be in that orientation. What is the word when you stop an acid being acidic? Oh, well, well I'm gonna get the acid off this. And some bicarbonate soda solution. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm gonna make sure that I have a center punch mark on the inside top right. So, there we go. And I'll do the same over here on the Union Jack. And after you make that kind of a center punch mark, you really, really hope you didn't mess up. So the other benefit of having etched this is now with, that's not a Sharpie. With a Sharpie, we can now plot out exactly where it is that we're going to bring the profiles of the belt buckles so that it best complements the uh, Damascus steel pattern. What I can see right here is it looks like a little kind of pocket of stars does this. I'm just going to kind of roughly get an idea of the proportions that are going to make that, uh, make that look a little nicer. I like that. It's a nice big belt buckle. This one's slightly twisted, so I'm going to come down a little more here as opposed to up there. And uh, now it's just a case of kind of eyeballing this and just double checking that the outline that we've drawn with the Sharpies is going to make it all look nice, neat, square, true, as, as, as fantastic as possible. Okay, I think we're ready to start profiling.
filed it on the big Bailey belt grinder. Then I moved on to the 60 grit on my 2x48 steel grinder. I refined the profile, I faced off the flat. Now it's up to 120 and then on from there. So we have a 240 grit finish on here. They're looking rather fantastic, but they're missing two things first and foremost, and that is a touch mark and also a bend. The belt buckle, as you can see, I don't know if I've ever shown this. This is the belt buckle that I have currently, and you can see it has a curve on it. That's another Damascus steel belt buckle I made uh, a few years ago. To do the curve, I'm gonna take this piece of wood, we're gonna go onto that Bailey belt grinder, we can use that contact wheel to get a little arc in there. We have that ground that matches kind of the curvature of your body, which is gonna be fantastic. This, I'm gonna set that to the side. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the torch and we're gonna heat it up with a torch because the torch doesn't oxidize very much. Each of these is gonna get touch marked in, for me, the top left, but for the belt buckle, the bottom left. I've made sure that the center punch marks allow me to be oriented. I know for sure that if I was lying down just like this on my anvil, I know for sure this way, it's oriented correctly, which is great. Once it's touch mark, I'll heat it up again. I'll take this top fuller, I'll take my hammer, and we'll then forge it into this radius, which is gonna be great. And gentlemen, what a fun day it has been working on these belt buckles. I'm gonna leave them to cool down. You, uh, as <laughs> you certainly remember a few episodes ago, my TIG welder, I, uh, dro I dropped the torch and the nozzle broke and I ordered more and they came today. It's just that they're up at, they're at the reception because we don't actually get mail delivered here. You have to go pick it up. Fine, whatever it is. But that means that for today's episode, ladies and gentlemen, that is gonna be it. And I am looking forward to seeing you tomorrow because these outstanding, these beautiful belt buckles are gonna be finished. I can't wait to get myself. I'm gonna get me a big Western-sized Union Jack belt buckle. Ain't that right? We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Hit subscribe if you're new and have a great day.